your risk parameters don't should not be changed to fit a play. You have to take your risk parameters like a magnifying glass. So let's say this magnifying glass. Kids don't use those anymore. I used to use magnifying glasses as a kid. Then you take this magnifying glass, right? You take this and you move this to the market to see if you move this to the market. Does this fit your magnifying glass? Does it fit in there? And if you've got to make your magnifying glass bigger to fit this, that's not yours. Your magnifying glass is sort of like your risk parameters, your maximum loss per trade, your maximum loss per day. You know, you can't stretch that to make a play fit. If the bar is too big, then you, for it to fit with two lots, then you got to go one lot. And if it's still too big and you still have to stretch your magnifying glass, that's the that's the market, that's fate saying, this might be good, but it's not your good. Every dollar, remember the story I told you what my, doc, my, my dad used to say at the dinner table? Every now and then to me at night to drill life lessons into me at the dinner table? Every dollar in the world, Oliver, is not yours. Stop chasing every dollar. Define what dollars are yours and focus like a laser beam on those dollars. Stop being pulled away and distracted by dollars all over the place that don't have your name on them. And so every play is not yours. If it doesn't fit your magnifying glass, if it doesn't fit your maximum loss per trade, you can't make it fit. That's life. That's fate. That's the market saying, these dollars aren't yours. The other thing, guys, is that you... You should try to work yourself toward letting the play choose you. You see, we all start off in this game being a searcher of the right trade. But over time, we have to make the transition of having the trade actually choose us. You're not supposed to choose your trades. The best trades choose you. And so you sit there at your command center and you wait for one of your plays. They start off at the they start off at the starting line equal. And as the morning develops, as the first bar develops, you start to see out of your 10 stocks or your 8 stocks or however many you have You'll start to see that, that all of them have started the race today to get your attention. But one or two of them have started to leave the pack behind. And th these are your one or two that are actually the winners of your attention. And out of that one or two, one is going to actually get ahead of the other. And that's the one that's choosing you. You didn't choose it. It chose you by being in first place. And that's the mindset of a master off the open. Which one of you is going to choose me today? What if you could approach your mornings like that? Which one of you? Hi, family. Good morning. I hope you're all ready for another dynamic day. Now, 
Which one of you are going to choose me today? You know? Versus you being the nervous way is I got to find the right one. I hope I choose right. I hope I find the right one. That's a very different mindset, is it nice? Is it not? One is more masterful. One is in control. One is the dominant king or queen. You know, the other's a victim. The other's a searcher. The other's lost. If you have to search for something, it means that you're lost. I got to search for my house. You're lost. I got to search for the car keys. Your car keys are lost. But you're not lost if you say, which one of you will earn my attention today? Set. This is a psychological game, traders. After a few basic tactics, green bar, red bar, off the 200, after a few of those, I mean, that's not the rocket science part. Green Power green bar off the 200, power red bar off the 200. I mean, how difficult is that? That's not the rocket science part. That's not the difficult part. The difficult part is the psychological part. It's doing what you already know you should do. Knowing what to do, that's the easy part. But doing what you know you're supposed to do, that's where the work comes into play. Because in reality, guys, how often do people in life do what they know they should do? Not very often. How many people eat right when they know they should eat right? Or work out when they know they should be working out? Or whatever. Not watching so much Netflix. You know, whatever, like we, most of us know what we should do. That doesn't mean that we do it. And so this, my point is, is that the vast majority of the work is on mindset. Once you have a few things to work with, once you have a few tactics and techniques, the, everything after that is psychology. Getting yourself to the point of consistently doing what you know you should do. Watching yourself, observing yourself, staying in the right mindset. Stop searching and just observe and wait for the market to come to you. Wait for your ch trades to choose you. Wait for those pure locations to present themselves to you. Let them come to you bearing gifts. Do you understand what I'm saying? Who in your life talks to you like this? Or who else in your life talks to you like this? <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs>